Well, hi there, viewers. Princess Strawberry here. So, welcome to part two of creating my lip balm. So, in my first video, I did this lip balm. So, now I'm going to fill up this lip balm container. So, what I basically did was I got to do exactly what I did in my last video. Put this on. Um, I forget. How did you, how did I stick this on? I don't know. Did I just press it in? I don't remember. Oh, I heard a snap. I heard a snap. Okay, so first I got to put this back on. This is how I did it. There's different ways to do this. We got one side snapped in. Holy cow. Okay, give me a second. Stretch my legs. So there we go. We got it on. I had to press it on the floor and press my palm on it, but it works. So right here, these are lip balms from Avon. They're like these red calendar things. What flavor is this? This is... I'm not sure the flavor. Or it's scented, I should say. Not flavor. I don't know. It's just a plain white one. So this is exactly what I did. Why do I say flavor? Yeah, some people do eat these. So I just kind of did this. This is exactly what I did with the first one. This is how I made the first one. So, I mean, I'm not a pro at this. These are two lip balms, like the, the red one and the green one. I don't like the scent of. It's disgusting. I even put it on my lips, and I have a habit of licking my lips, and I didn't even like the flavor of it. Like, lip balm, lip balm is not poisonous, but this is what I did. At least I filled the inside of it. Filling it up with my favorite lip balm. This is a good way to save makeup. At least I find anyway. Okay, and then once it's full like it is. Oh, that, yeah, let's just like take that out. Then I just kind of press it in here. I went through so many of these for the red lip, SO lip balm container thing. There's different ways to do lip balm, like creating your own lip balm. There's recipes you guys can do. Um, I just did it my way. I took apart the lip balm container. I popped out the little piece here. I took my own lip balm. These are like lip balm sticks. There's about There was about five or six of them. I'm going to keep that. There might be more in that. And I just took them apart and I just pressed them onto here, creating my own lip balm, pretty much. Yes, your hands are going to get messy, but you know what? It's called work of art. I mean, like, who doesn't love art? And the best part is, in my makeup, I still have a couple of my own lip balms I can keep just separate. But these I bought from Avon. I bought like 10 of these at a time. One month, and then I bought 10 more another month. So, I mean, so, stuff. I'm going to fill up the cap now. And just like press it in there. I just kind of forced it to shut. And then I'm going to put these in the freezer overnight. I decided instead of five minutes, I'm going to do it overnight. Because then in the morning, I can take pictures and show you guys what these look like. I will be posting the pictures to my Facebook page, Princess Strawberry Singing and Dancing. Just go to your Facebook, go to the top where it says Search Facebook. And type in Princess Strawberry Singing and Dancing. It should pop up because I'm the only Princess Strawberry Singing and Dancing. That's the only Facebook page I can see. Make sure I use it all up. I don't want to waste any. So I pretty much just entertain people. This is what I do. Plus this is like a fun little craft. This is not poisonous for your skin because if it was then you wouldn't be able to put it on your lips. Sometimes I even put lip balm on the outside of my lips and on my lips just because the outside needs some love too, people. So, like my again, this is my face cloth. I am going to be washing it later. 
I'm just using it to get all the extra lip balm off of my hands. So we're almost done. Is this one done? It is done. Okay. So I think this is pretty much, once you got all of them in, this is just how I'm doing it. Stick it together and start turning. I just kind of forced it to turn, but I got to get the stuff off my hand. So I'm going to have to do this with the cloth because this is slippery. It's a slippery piece of art. I think it's awesome that guys use Essel lip balm products. I'm just kind of twisting with the cloth until I get it on properly. It might not go on properly. I got to get this on properly. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I just kind of kept fooling around with it until I got it to actually fit properly. And it says on YouTube you should only put these in for five minutes. Or you can put them in for five minutes. But why put them in for five minutes? There we go. I got on the track, as I call it. Just kind of press it together. I just got to keep turning it until I can get it to stay. This one is more of a pain than the other one. My hands are all slippery right now. So I got it mostly to shut. There's still a gap. Okay, we're going to use the other side of the space cloth. It's not slippery. There we go. We got it to open at least for a second. Can I at least get it to go on the track and close properly? Like, I mean, come on, work with me. Nope, there's still a gap. Okay, why what is going on here? Okay, my hands are really slippery right now. Hopefully, if I can get it to close properly, I can stick this in the freezer and overnight, it'll be done. This one's more of a pain in the butt. This one, I kind of forced it to close. I'm going to keep it closed. So these are Essel lip balms. Again, these are two lip balms I absolutely don't like the smell of. Um, I should say I don't like the taste of it because I have a habit of licking my lips, but who doesn't, right? Hey, some of the lip balm is pretty tasty. Like, um, the one I have in here I think is gingerbread scented, and I keep licking my lips because it tastes so good. Did I get this to close yet? No, not yet. Okay. I'm just kind of pressing. Computer, stop going to sleep. It needs to stop doing it. Okay, I got most of it to close. It's not closing properly because it wants to be like this. So, I mean, I am thinking of doing this again. I'm going to try one more time to close it properly. We're going to attempt one more time to close this properly. Do I have another face cloth? Yes, I do. Okay. That one needs to go over there. So I have another face cloth here to help me to open this and close it. There's some hair on this. Why is there hair in my lip balm? Who wants hair on their lips, right? Like, Well, guys with the mustache. So we got this to... I just got to get it to go on the track. Okay, come on. I think I got it on the track. My legs are hurting because I'm sitting cross-legged on the floor. Okay. Last attempt because I'm not going to continue doing this forever. There we go, we got most of it closed. I just have to turn it a little bit more. Oh, 
we got some oozing out from the side that's all right but i almost got it closed so here's what i'm going to do put this on the floor move the garbage can my legs are hurting anyway oh i just popped my ankle and as you can see a bunch oozed out from the side i don't care but we got most of it to close. Uh, it's better than nothing, right? Like, Okay, so there we go. We got my two SO lip balms. We got the green one. It's not completely shut, but whatever. And then we have the red one. I'll try to close it better, but I don't know if I can. We got some more oozing out from the side. No. Okay, so there we go. This kind of ends, wraps up my little video of creating my own lip balm. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.